Hello everyone. Today I like to make a quick tutorial on Mural and talk a little bit more about how you can collaborate using an online platform. So of course, all of you know this, you know, the use of post-it notes, then you have, this, this is my personal set. So you have the, the post-its, then you do that. Mural is exactly that, exactly, but in an online platform. So what I want uh, to do with you today, it's, it's just to navigate around the main features of Mural and how you can benefit from using it. Uh, one thing that I need to disclose immediately is that I don't work for Mural and this is not a sponsored uh, video. I just created this video because I really want to help people to understand this and I'm using Mural also with my clients and with my work so I want them to know how to use it. And this screen you see now, it's the, the main screen of Mural. I, I didn't sign in yet because I want you to show this because this is, I think, one of the best graphical representations of what you can do with Mural. So take a look. So basically you see different uh, uh, mouse uh, movements with different names, Celeste, Sebastian, Megan, uh, Paul, and, and this is exactly how it works. So people create post-it notes, they move post-it notes inside a mural. A mural is the blank paper, like the post-it note paper uh, I showed you, where you and the team collaborate on that. So I will just sign in and I will show you, for example, this is my, my, my mural. So basically you have here private and open rooms. So you can have rooms where you share different murals. It's like imagine a folder with different uh, murals and open rooms are the murals that you share with other people, that you can collaborate with team members, people from your organization, and then people can create murals there and they can share information on that. So I want to start now by creating a new mural. So when I click here, create a new mural, basically what I can see is hundreds of templates produced by the mural team. So you have icebreaker, evaluate, agile. So I can use this as a reference for me. Of course, I can use one of them out of the shelf, but basically let me, me just use as an example. So Kanban. So when I put Kanban, I, I have my own Kanban that I created, but for example, I can use this mural template, the weekly Kanban. So basically what I can see is that it's like a pre-filled uh, template with the planning and the retrospective, where I have the backlog, doing, done, and everything when I need to look back. This is one of the best tools for lean, uh, lean work. So this is basically uh, the, the DNA of what a mural is. So take a look, one thing, an extremely important thing. If you look on this right corner here, you see a zoom. Did you see that this dark gray is the area you can see? But look, you can move to different areas. So if I reduce the zoom, this is the size of my mural. So did you see the information is just a piece of that whole mural. And why I'm telling this is very, very important uh, for you, uh, for you to, to, I would say, to understand better, because this is what you will need to navigate all the time. So when I increase the zoom here, and for example, I take this and I move, did you see what is happening? What I'm doing, I'm moving a block. But let's suppose this was not what I wanted. Let's suppose that I wanted to see a different part. This is why there is this hand here, is the move tool. The move tool, you can move. Now look, I'm moving. If you see on the bottom side here, you see I'm moving, look the cursor. So look, if I'm not selecting anything, look, for example, if I'm here, I can move things differently. 
I can go one side, go to another. But if I have something, when I do that, I move them. So this is a very, very important aspect because most of the time when you don't know this, you make a mess. So imagine one thing, it's one option. You are moving the paper. The other, you are moving the post-it. So did you see the difference? So when you press the hand, you are moving the paper. When you don't press, you are moving the post-its and, and all objects on, on that mural. So let's go back. And I don't want to, to, to use this. I will create a new mural, but I will create a blank one, just empty one, to show you the elements. So did you see on the bottom? Look at the size of this mural. So if I want to change the size, it's very simple. I just create, click on the, this arrow on the, size, on the side of the name, mural settings, and then I have several types of size. I'm using the default and then I can use, and then I can put my first mural. Okay, done. So my first mural. So this is, I would say, my empty paper. So now what I can see on this left side, I can see the tool. So I'll click on the text tool. The text tool, it's exactly where my sticky note is. So basically, the sticky note, these three stick notes, three uh, types of stick notes are what the basic and the root of what mural is about. So you can take the stick note and drag it to the area. When you drag it, it creates one stick note and you can put whatever you want on the content. So option one. Then I have my first sticky note. If I want to move the stick note, I just click and move. If I want to delete, I just press delete. So on the other size, it's absolutely the same. I can put test one. And then what I can do, I can increase the size of the font and everything. I can change the, the font. Look, I can put a different font. And one thing that we use a lot is different colors of post-it because maybe you can use this uh, for different team members or maybe you can use this to make sure you locate different parts of, of the information and also you have some presets so you can just click and then it's a blue then I can click on the circle one so very simple one one uh, a tip I want to give to you so when you put option one and instead of pressing enter, you press tab. You can create another one on the side. Turn three. So you can do this very easy. But now I want to show you one thing. Let's suppose you want to move the three of them. So if you click and drag, you are moving the mural. If you click in one of them, you are moving that individual item. So how do you move a group? So basically you press shift and then you can move the full group. So it's a very simple process to do that. Now I want to show you the second feature. It's the drawing and the shapes. These are very helpful if you want to create a shape, a different shape, or if you want to create uh, an item, then you can do in different colors. So this is exactly to illustrate. Remember, the concept of this visual thinking and visual collaboration is based on color, shapes, drawings, images. And also one thing I use a lot is the arrow. So I can use the arrow to connect things. For example, I can connect test one with for example, then I'll click, uh, right click and add it uh, to approval, for example, if I want to do that. And look, this is the, I would say, the basic DNA of what a mural is. Then I can use icons. So there's, oh my God, there are hundreds and hundreds of icons. So you just drag them to their place. So. You drag them to whatever you want, and this will give you a visual indication. Let, let me just skip here and show you, for example, how I would say a colorful uh, mural could be. Look, 
This is a mural that I use uh, uh, to do analytical hierarchy process. So just to give you an example, so you can create very nice, deep and beautiful looking murals. Another thing I want to show you, let me move to, to, to this part here. And these are the frameworks. And this is one of the most useful and helpful things when you are creating your mural, because this is like a predefined shapes that you use more. For example, let's suppose I want to do a bull's eye. Then I just click drag and it's done, done. So look, it's so easy. And then I can put, for example, um, um, easy of use. So then I can put option one, I move. Oh, this is very easy. Oh, option two here and option three here, for example. Okay, Let, let's forget the lamp here. So this is just an example. One thing that you notice, when I move it, it became blue. Let, let me do one, another one. Let me put an option four here. Op, option four. Look. I'm moving inside the bull's eye. Look, now it became blue. What is that? When I do that, means it, it became part of this easy of usage uh, uh, aspect of my mural. So I put here, and then when I move, look, everything goes with that. This is very easy for you to manipulate parts of information. And look, let me, let me move this to this to this part here, because then it will show you better. Now, look how big is the full mural. So it's a big, look, do you remember the ones I was doing and now these ones, okay? So this is, uh, is just a, a very, very basic and simple example. And some of them are absolutely fantastic. So let me show you on the business, the business model canvas from, from Alex Osterwald. And this is, for me, one of the things I, li I like most. I just click here, drag, done. And then you put my new project. That's it. That's it. Then I just come here and I put my sticky notes. So it's a very, very simple way. And these uh, layouts, they, they are so many here. So you, you can... Take a look, and, and there is a lot on the Agile wall of work, retrospective, risk wall. So, for example, if you want to create a risk wall, so you just do that, to, done. You don't need to do anything. You just put the, the post-it. And you can create your own. You can create on the library here, your own libraries. So you can create pieces that you reuse also, you can put images. So it's a very easy and simple way of working and collaborating. But now when I talk about collaboration, I didn't speak about what you can do with that. So let's suppose I want to use and invite other people to do that. So I am a member and I have an account, but let's suppose I want to share this in a collaborative way. So I basically take my mural and share. Basically, on the first tab, I can share with other people using Mural, other Mural users. But then I have one of the best things, the visitor link. The visitor link means anyone with this link, they don't need a sign in and they can edit. So let me copy the link, okay? Then what I will do, hold on, I will. Put here this and put A. Then I'll take another one and I'll put B. Okay, look, A and B. But now I will open an incognito window. So now let's suppose someone received the link from my team or from a client and then the person just paste the link here and they will open. Look what happened. It will ask, what is your name? Okay, and then you put your name. John. Then 
this my avatar is an elephant okay this is assigned by mural and then i put enter as a visitor then they give you some basic instructions look what happened i am here and did you see that there is an elephant that is me and ricardo here so i can take here i can take here easily and put this white post-it note here and put test look i wrote okay and i put test here so in a very simple way okay i put my test here let me just move here look test and then let me put another one john okay test and john then now let's see what ricardo will see so when ricardo moves look what happened test and john appeared and then i can see now that i have an elephant that is john and if john and ricardo are working at the same time they can move exactly like mural showed at the beginning on their main screen so you can do this in a very simple and easy way it's very very simple it's it's something that it's almost intuitive to work with so you can do this and you can do for example you can set up this for your courses like i do for my courses so i sometimes i just set up so let me show you i have all the flows everything people need to do from introductions to to projects so look look this for example i have all the maps with all the information everything and i can reuse this as many times as i want so look these are 15 different projects i'm using on that on that collaboration so people can do that in a very simple direct and easy way and if you want you can export as a pdf or a png you know you can do uh, uh, the way you want to connect on that so you can do this in a very simple way it has some features about timing and this but these are facilitators because i have facilitator stats here so this is a facilitator so you as facilitator you can lock uh, features that other people will not be able to use basically what i want here uh, is to give you this this small advice in, in a very uh, quick video for you to get to know this there are many tools in the market this is a very simple one you can use and benefit i know that in in these times it's it's not easy right it's not easy for anyone we are working remotely but this can be a very helpful tool for you to get the teams together to get the people connected together and to work together in in a very simple intuitive way where most of the people they do not even need to have an account on on this kind of platform so i hope you enjoyed this you could learn something and for the students uh, of my course and also for the clients this is how we will work uh, using Bureau. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.